Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Deadcraft73. We're back here playing one man, one mod, learning everything that we can possibly learn about immersive engineering. And man, we are having such a good time. I love it so much. I'm so happy and glad that you guys love it as well. I mean, if you. I, I can't even tell you how much it means to me that you guys watch these videos and leave amazing comments and all kinds of stuff. We need to get some cows. Let's get to work here and stop just messing around. Come on, cow. I want as many of you as I can get. You guys want to come with me? Come on. All right, there we go. Yeah. Hello? Okay, yeah. There's four. That's a good start for sure. We're going to need some leather. Uh, and the only way that I know, really, hi, could you, would you like to come? Why don't you come along? How about you, cow? You seem like you are a nice fellow. Okay, hello. Hello, cows? Oh my goodness, this is going to be a nightmare. Um, wait a minute, hold on a second. Before we get all too crazy, let's go over here and look for something. Now... I was down in my mines, and I guess I'm pretty... Well, let me check to see if I actually have it. I'm pretty sure I do. Got to fill in that hole. That's a creeper explosion. Don't worry about that. How are these guys doing? Mm, not great. Here. Okay, perfect. How's this guy doing? Okay. And then we'll go and put the rest of it in this guy. Oh, it's got water in it. That's okay. We'll just keep that with us. I was in my mines the other night doing some mining, and I think... Yeah, there's a slime chunk down there, so I have a little bit of a uh, little slime. Let's see, can I make some leads? Those are like vanilla Minecraft kind of thing, right? Yeah, so I can make two leads. That's probably going to be enough. So let's put these away. Let's actually keep that and I'll put that away. Okay, all right, let's go see if we can get these cows the easy way instead of trying to drag them back over here using... If you don't have any slime, you'll just have to use a piece of wheat or whatever to drag them where you need them to go. But I have a plan. Let me see. Where am I going to have to take these guys? So I'm going to have to run them all the way along here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, do we want... No, I know there's some over here. Let's not go spending too much time searching for them. So we can hook up a couple cows. And we're going to drag them back to base. Maybe I'll do the first two of these guys on camera with you guys. And then I'm going to go out and gather some. Hi. You and you. Okay, come on. All right, then we should be able to turn around. As long as we walk somewhat slowly, these guys should drag along behind us so we don't fall in any holes <laughs> or anything. Are you guys coming? Yeah, come on. Yeah, all right, keep coming. Hi. Hi. Come up the hill. There you go. Coming? Yeah. So if you don't have uh, slime, you haven't found any, I mean, without a doubt, that area down there where I've been mining, if you're using the same seed, is a slime chunk. I just happened to get lucky. I went through there, and there was a guy sitting right there. Uh, what do we want to do? Okay, let's just take him up here. Come on, come up the hill with me. Come up here. we got to come along this edge. Come on. Come on. Cow. Come on. Okay. Okay, we're going to drag them right around the corner here, and we're going to set them up right over here. A little bit of a cow situation we got going on here. So, uh, you know what? Actually, what we're going to do, if I click you guys, I can get the leads back. Now, they won't, they shouldn't go wandering off too far. We should have made some stuff. Let, let's go, let's make them a pen before we get too crazy. So, we need a little pen, and we need to start a cow breeding operation because I need leather. And, you know, we might as well get some food, too, out of the deal. I mean, why not, right? Let's see. We have some fences. Do I want to make more? Let's make some of these spruce fences. Let's go like that. And then we should be able to go here. And we can go like this and like that. And make some spruce fences. Like that. That should be plenty. I, I think so. At least. Alright. So let's go make ourselves just a little bit of a cow pen. This is kind of a vanilla mechanic. This isn't something that's all too, too crazy. All right, so I want to go, like, right here. 
and we can go all the way out along the edge here. And this pen can actually be pretty pretty big, I think. Okay, and maybe uh, maybe that's good here. What don't you got? Can you get in there, cow guy? Okay, and then I can go like this. Perfect. Okay, and now I can get the wheat, and we can make the baby cows, and we will have more. Okay, perfect. All right, the parrots and the bats achievement because I bred some cows. <laughs> Instead of the birds and the bees, man. Vanilla Minecraft, I love it. You gotta love it. All right, and now I just need to take a little bit of my spruce wood. Uh, spruce wood. I think that's enough. Yeah. I'm gonna make a gate. And I think the gate is the opposite, right? It's like this. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, let's make a gate and then we'll just uh, put a little hole in our, our deal. All right, just so we can get cows in and out. Hi, little baby cow. There, gate. Now we can open it and go in and do whatever we need to. Yeah, everything's good. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to sleep through the night, and then I'm going to go off and gather up some more cows. I mean, I don't need tons of them, but I'd like to get a good a good initial supply. I, think that was, I thought that was a mob when I came in here. Get a good initial supply just so... Uh, the whole process can go a little bit faster because we're going to have to breed tons of cows. That means we're going to be messing around with all that craziness for, craziness for a while. So let me go drag some more cows back here, and I'm going to get a bunch of them bred up. Uh, if you want to play along in this episode, you'll need to be doing the same. We need to get a big old stack of cows. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Man, I've been doing uh, a little bit of breeding. I think I ended up bringing eight cows home with me so i've been i bred them at least once maybe twice um, the only thing that i always try to do whenever i'm making a cow farm is i always like to bring multiples of two right and i and really uh, technically if i'm going to get two i want to get four and the reason behind that is so when i breed the four cows i get two babies right and now i have six cows i breed this breed the six cows i get three babies it just seems to go a little bit faster uh, so I brought eight so when I bred those I got four cows yeah so I have 12 and then when I breed those I'll have six more so I have 18 and we'll just keep rolling on it's gonna be awesome uh, so we have tons of cows now now <laughs> some of you may realize why this cow pen is over here by my crusher it's not the greatest because it's loud you don't have to hear cows mooing all around all the time but we're going to have to set up a system where we can get some leather and uh, beef. Not that we need beef for anything mod-wise. We just be need beef so we can uh, eat it <laughs> because it's a good food source. And, man, we've been eating carrots, like, nonstop. We want something a little bit better than that. So we're going to introduce a new feature of the mod called conveyor belts. And, man, these are so cool. Uh, they're not they're not like amazing cool I mean obviously there's better item transport mods and things like that that are out there you know like thermal expansion has the fluid or the item ducts and ender IO has item conduits and there's different mods out there that adds things for item transport and fluid transport and such like that but with immersive engineering we get something called conveyor belts so we're gonna start messing around with those right now let's grab some iron and let's make some of these guys. And there's a couple different flavors you'll see when we search it up in JEI. There's regular conveyor belt. There's a conveyor belt that ignores a redstone control. So essentially a conveyor belt, if you flip a lever, it will turn them off. And then there's vertical conveyor belts that actually can move items up and down. Or up, I guess, not down. And they might be able to go down. I don't know. We're going to use them in our case to move them up. And then we've got splitting conveyor belts, which does like a 50-50 split. And then you've got covered conveyor belts. One of the downside with regular conveyor belts, if you lay them down on the ground, we're going to make these guys right here. I need a piece of redstone. Let's grab some quick. There we go. Make these. And you get, it's a pretty good recipe. You Two pieces of iron, three pieces of leather gives us, and a redstone gives us eight conveyor belts. So if I put these guys down, let's just put them down on the ground. 
so you guys can see. You can see when you put them over the, the ground, you get like an arrow. So you can stand right here and make the conveyor belt go that way or this way, whatever. I'm just going to lay them down like this. Okay. Whoops. Nope. We'll put this guy right there. Okay. Now the problem with this one, you see that it's going the wrong direction. No problem. If you put it down the wrong way, if you get your engineer's hammer out, right, you can click it to... Rev get these out of my thing. I hate that. You can click them to turn, right? So if you want to turn them or whatever, and you can see that we want them to go that way. So now everything is going the same way. So oh, if we can get off of the conveyor belt... Jane, get me off this crazy thing. And so we could just get on it and ride. Or we can do things like stand over here and throw items on them, and they'll ride, right? They go to the destination. So the thing about these regular conveyor belts, you can pick things off of them um, if they're just laying like this. Like if you throw items on there and then you stand too close, you may pull them off there. The covered conveyor belts prevent that from happening. We really can't afford them yet because they take a fair amount of steel, right, to make. Uh, so we're not too worried about it for now. But down the road, we're definitely going to want to do some con covered conveyor belts, if we, especially if we want to do things like... Uh, some item routing and move these items over here and these items over there and split things. We don't want to be able to have to worry about standing too close and picking those up. But for now, we're just going to use these guys right here. And I think oh, we need a pickaxe to break these the best way, I guess. So we're going to pick these up. Now there's a couple other things I want to show you real quick before we get into the sort of conveyor belt, belt based build we're going to do today. So if I lay down some conveyor belts like this and I point them directly into an inventory like this and we throw these guys down there, they actually get placed inside the inventory. So that's the first thing, right? So we just throw items on there. We can put them on there however we want to and they'll get placed in the inventory if they run into that inventory. The other thing uh, that you could do with these guys is you can use things like hoppers. Uh, so I think we're going to need one, so we might as well go ahead and make... A hopper anyway uh, do I have a chest in here by chance nope okay let's grab a little bit of wood and we'll make a vanilla hopper real quick we do need some extra iron which we should have cooking up up here see how this guy's doing oh yeah it's working like a dream yeah boy okay I love that Let's go back down. Our heaters are working just like we want them to. Uh, we could do it. Uh, we could do it right here. Let's well. Let's craft this hopper first. All right. Let's make our chest like so in the middle, and then one, two, a three, a four, five. Okay. Done. Perfect. Okay. And now, if we go back up here to where we had our little test set up, if I put down some conveyor belts, like so, and we'll run them into this chest just so we can keep all this stuff sort of set, okay? And then I take a hopper, and just like you do into an inventory, you shift-click it right there on the edge. You can see it's pointed that way, and then I throw my redstone in there. It'll shoot it out, and it'll put it in the chest, right? So you can put, you can run conveyor belts into any inventory that you want to, and it will automatically place them in there. You can also, I'm pretty sure put the hopper like this and put stuff in there yeah and it'll put them on that way right so it extracts from a hopper vertically or it you can plug it into the side that also means you could sort of set it into the side and put a chest on top of it and drop a bunch of ores in there and essentially just walk away yeah okay so we've got a couple things we want to do with some conveyor belts but i need a little bit more leather so we might as well take care of that piece <laughs> of our build today now i want to tell you before we get too crazy and start talking start getting in too deep into this um this is a little hardcore what we're about ready to do um we talked about the crusher and how the crusher can grind up all kinds of stuff sand cobblestone ores you know for ore doubling whatever well, it just so happens, it can also grind mobs for you, if you would like it to do so. So we're going to set up a little bit of a system here. I need to... Uh, I may have to actually... I hate to sort of do this, but... Uh, you know, actually, I don't want to use those cows. I need to get a couple more pieces of leather. Ow, that hurt. 
There are some cows over here. It's getting to be nighttime. I tell you what, let me farm up another, like, I have one piece of leather, I think. I need five more pieces. I'm going to get five more pieces, and then we'll come back and we'll throw this build together. And then you can decide. Do you want to build it in your own world? Or are you saying, man, this is wrong and not cool, and I'd like to harvest my leather the old-fashioned way by going out and hunting it and killing cows that I have? <laughs> I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. All right, I got myself six pieces of leather. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. So we got to make some more conveyor belts. So let's get a little bit of redstone here. Uh, I guess I've been throwing my redstone around on those hoppers and stuff. I don't have it with me, but that's okay. We can make some more. Not really make it, but we can get it. So we can go one, two, one, two, and then two of those, and then our leather across like that. And we get eight more conveyor belts. Now we have 24. Now I want to make some vertical ones, and I think I need to make two stacks or two uh, crafting so I need five is what I need vertical and you just make those by it kind of makes sense right v conveyor belts in a vertical line with two pieces of iron they're kind of like hooks or buckets on it so we'll go like that so now we have 18 conveyor belts and oh wait a minute uh, let's do like this and this and make another set so now we have six verticals 18 like that okay so we're gonna set up a little system here and we're gonna use it to uh, industrially process our cows <laughs> all right so we're gonna go right here in the center and we're gonna put these guys and they're pretty awesome look at that man they're cool so we're gonna go here and then we want to keep these guys going up we may have to stack up a little bit uh, okay we can use that i'm not even sure where that came from but we're gonna keep stacking up here vertically We want to go up one more. Is that enough? I think that might be enough. I think. Actually, let's go one more. Let's take it one more higher. There we go. We'll use all six of them. Why not? And let's jump over here. And then I'm just going to lay down temporarily a block, like right there. Right? Um, I don't know why. I don't even know why I have... Oh, I know why. I was using it. It must have just been left over my inventory for making that guy over there. Okay? Yeah. All right. Oh no, 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 no. That's not true. <laughs> I use it because I had that little little stack thing going on there. So we have that block up there temporarily. We need to go back up top side, and we're going to sort of extend this so it's kind of out. Oh, we need to grab. Let's grab some fences real quick, just so we have them, because I think we're going to need to make a little bit of a like um, a railing around the top of this thing. That might not be a bad I idea anyway, because it allows us to. We don't have to worry about like us falling in because we do not want to fall in to the crusher. So we could just go like this, maybe. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, we actually want to keep for now. Keep this guy open, like that. Okay. And then we'll go around the other side here, and we can extend this out. Hello, cows. And we'll just go one more like that and then bring this around. Just so we have like a little bit of a railing. Okay? Perfect. Alright, now let's let's get up here and do a little bit of work. So we want to get up on top of this. So now we've got this crazy guy. And let's extend this out one more time. Alright, and now we're going to go here and we're going to put... Stand over here so we don't go anywhere. And just remember we have to put the arrow in the direction we want it to travel. Like that. That's perfect. Okay, and then we could come back in and break these because these conveyor belts can be freestanding. So there's no reason that you have to keep them uh, perfectly vertical. And then I just want to put a little bit of fence here like this. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Let's climb up again. And we'll just go like this. Okay, a little bit of like just a guide rail is all that is. Yep, perfect. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead for now. We'll, we'll uh, clear this out when we need to. Uh, you can go. But let's finish up our railing across the top. Just so it looks, you know, so it's kind of safe for, well, for us. <laughs> All right, I want to go back down here. Oh, get off that. All right, and I'm, I want to build... Uh, maybe we don't... Yeah, I do sort of want to build like a vertical guardrail as well. And we'll connect these. We'll bring it out like that and bring it all the way down. Oh, hey, hey, don't get on there. 
No, no, no. <laughs> that is not for us to ride on. And we'll bring this all the way down. Perfect. Okay, that should be okay. Alright, awesome. Is it going to be nighttime again? Of course it is. Alright, we'll take these out of here. Now, I'm not going to do... I mean, I guess you guys could build whatever sort of contraption you want. I mean, there are definitely some vanilla mob farms out there. Uh, there's also some different modded mob, mob farms that you can build. Um, inter integrate... Uh, inter hmm. Immersive engineering doesn't actually give you like a uh, mob farm mob farm. It just gives you... I mean, it doesn't give you any ability to farm mods or mobs. So... You know, it's not ideal, but I think it's going to be good enough for what we need, at least for now. Okay, so let me put this in there. Now, if I go over here and I open up this gate, some of these cows should hopefully wander through. Oh, we want to put down some more of these. Let's do this real quick. We want to have a row of these guys, like this, like that. Okay, so now, oh that, well that's okay. Now we have a cow. <laughs> he wandered onto the conveyor belt. He is about to be very sad. He is gonna go up and he is going to get placed into the crusher. Like that. Um, he should get, ah, yeah, there he goes. And he just got placed into the crusher and he is going to get dealt with that uh, in crusher style. <laughs> it's kind of hardcore. You know, I always try to keep... I don't know. Some people get get um, not happy. See, there we go. So they're getting grounded up. And we get leather. And we get beef when that happens. Yep. So now we essentially have for ourselves a leather factory. Let me grab that guy. Yep. So there comes another cow. He's riding up. And he is going to get dumped into the crusher. Yep. And we are going to get more leather and beef. So there we go. So we got ourselves a little bit of a cow farm. I mean, when we're not, when we don't need it, we can just close the gate, keep these guys bred up. I'm going to try to keep it somewhat manual because I don't want to go, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to lose all my cows. So we're going to keep this. Uh, this will be our breeding herd. Whenever we decide we need some leather or beef, we'll open up the gate, let them wander through. They'll go up and take care of, uh, get take care of, and then we'll just make sure that we keep enough in the pen that we can repopulate. Um, like I said, there's definitely some ways that you can, like, you know, like I know that, like Impulse SV has a vanilla cow farm where you can. You put cows like on a fence post and use water to breed a bunch of them, and then the babies fall down in the water, and when they grow up, they they go wherever. So you definitely could do something like that. This we're sort of going low tech as far as the breeding piece, and then we uh, well, it's also I guess low tech conveyor belts up into the crusher to take care of those those guys. Yeah. To take care of those guys. All right, so one more thing I want to do, and I hope I have enough time. I don't think I've spent too much time messing around here. What I want to do is I want to come right here and just sort of build like a stair step down like this. Actually, we might be able to do this with vertical. Maybe we'll just do it with vertical. Uh, that way, it'll. we'll just leave that guy there. Okay, so we need to go make a couple more vertical conveyor belts so let's go in here now we remember the recipe right one two three we're gonna need probably six more of those no that's not the recipe <laughs> I said remember the recipe and then I did it wrong we're gonna go like this and like this and like that and then we're gonna have five or six more vertical guys we have a hopper and uh, oh, we need to make let's see do we have enough treated wood to make another deal I guess not do we Wood. Nope. Okay. Let's get a little bit. Um, I know in my jerry can I should have some treated wood. Yeah. Okay. And we'll just go like this. We'll make treated wood like we have been doing. Like so. Right? And then we'll go back in here and make a storage crate. We'll make two of them. That's fine. We're going to use them for sure. Okay. Alright. So we're not just using this crusher just for uh, cow processing we're going to use this thing also for ore processing as well because I think that it would be nice to come back from like a mining session and just be able to dump all of our items into a chest 
and sort of just be done with them, right? So let's get ourselves a, let's put a block here. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe here. Yeah, put it right there. And then we're going to break this guy. All right. And we're going to have a uh, conveyor belt go on here and here. No, we don't want to do it that way. Just need a conveyor belt here. And then we should be able to go vertical, right? So we should be able to go with our vertical conveyor belts. We should be able to go up, up. up up okay and then just a regular conveyor belt can go this way we, can, we do not want to fall in that thing oh my goodness that would be a nightmare all right and then we should be able to go that way not those went this guy Yeah, I think that'll probably work. How do I get over there? Okay, I got my, I got what I needed. Oh, get off there. <laughs> and then we're going to take our hopper, and we're going to put this guy like this. Okay? Nope, not like that. We're going to take our hopper, and we're going to face it into this conveyor belt like that. Perfect. Now, we should be able to put our ore in there. All right, and let's just climb up and watch. Is it not going anywhere? Let's see what the deal is. I have to sort of figure this out a little bit. Oh. Is one of my conveyor belts not going the right way? No, they're going the right way. Maybe they're not. Let's get our hammer. I think maybe they don't like going over that fence. Let's break these blocks. Okay, and we'll get rid of this fence. I'm pretty sure that's what the problem is. Doesn't like going over that fence. Okay, let's throw these guys in here again. Let's see if this time they actually go out and they go off into the crusher. Yep, yeah, we're gonna need to go forward one more block. Okay. Sometimes you got to work these builds a little bit. We'll get it figured out. It's going to be awesome. And we're going to be able to process ores and whatever else we would like to process right inside this thing. Okay. Let's drop down here and grab those guys back up. And we should be able to lay in another belt like that. And we want it to go this way. Now, I'm a little nervous that that's going to impact my cow processing because they might get stuck on that guy. Hmm. Which is not ideal. We'll have to test it. All right, well, let's get out of here. How do I... Oh, I'm stuck here forever. Let's climb down. <laughs> oh. All right, now, let's put our iron ore back in here. No, no, I didn't want to do that, but that's okay. Now, it should drop it into the crusher now. Yeah, okay. Crusher's working. Ore processing is being done. That's exactly what we want. Everybody's happy. We can throw that in there if we want to and get a little bit of gravel. Now, if we go over here, open up our gate, we should get a cow to go through eventually. We just want to make sure he doesn't get stuck up there. Okay. Okay, they are pushing themselves. Shut the gate. Okay, there we go. Let's just make sure he doesn't get stuck. Oh my lord. Okay, he didn't get stuck. Uh, we just blow up some things, which is not ideal. Dang it. We gotta get that squared away. Uh, so that works. So everything works, right? So we got ore processing being done. Oh, 
Oh, did it blow up my chest? No, it didn't. Okay, let's put this guy back down here just to gather up the rest of those ores. I feel like I've lost some. Is it in this chest, baby? Oh, they're in there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's uh, make sure this guy gets cleaned up. So I think we probably went long in this episode, and I'm sorry about that. I didn't certainly didn't mean to, but we have all of our ores, we have our leather, we have our meat. Everything's really working the way exactly we want to. We just need to put this back in here, clean this hole up. Dang it, creepers. So now we have a way to automatically process our ores. We just throw them in there. We take care of business, and anytime we need leather, we have a way to take care of that too. All using immersive engineering 100% except for vanilla hopper and some fences, and... Yeah, just breeding some cows. Man, thank you so much for watching. I know I'm standing by a big old hole in the ground. I'll get it fixed. That happens. I think maybe that means next episode, we need to work on some stuff to keep these mobs from spawning all around. And I got an amazing plan. I guess we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye, everybody.